What's going on squad? So this is a little bit of a vlog because I got an interesting comment the other day that I kind of wanted to share because if I got it, maybe some of y'all have got it. We've kind of tiptoed around this, but essentially I was asked the question, am I still doing the ISO chain? Now we are about 18, let me see, October 6th or October 5th. Yeah, about 18 months in at this point. And all I can say is that I can't speak for anyone else, but if I've seen results from using any product, I'm going to keep using it. The main thing for me are my knees. My knees have been plaguing me, I would say since about 2017 when I had the first injury doing lunges. And leg day has just never been the same since. I haven't been able to get the volume that I've wanted. I haven't been able to get the strength that I've wanted. And sure, there are days where I've pushed past it and I've still gotten like high numbers, but you can, you better believe I paid for it the next couple days. Sometimes I had to be laid off for like a week because of the pain, especially in my left knee. And after using the ISO chain, I think uh, after, I believe it was five months. Now they're all kind of just running together, but I do know the video. So here's a link right here. You can go and check out that vlog on um, my knee recovery using the ISO chain because of the bulletproofing effect and all that that entails. My knees still feel great. The only time they feel kind of iffy or achy is when I'm not hitting them as hard. And there have been times, I'll be honest, like I said, I've been transparent literally from the, the first video, the Sweet 16 video. There are days where, you know, like sometimes I'm just not in it. And it unfortunately it comes out to being human. I can make, you know, excuses and whatnot, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna BS anybody. I, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I'm just not in it mentally. And then there's other days where I just like turn it on Maybe some of the squad can relate, but as long as most of the days are just, yo, just get get your shit done that you need done, then that's when we start to really make progress. But anyway, going back to my knees, so that was the first really beneficial and huge boon to at least me personally using the ISO chain. So, and of course, the person asking didn't know that. I'm definitely not here to put them on the spot or whatever. It's not even about that. It's just that I felt like maybe someone else could has been in the situation I've been in. So, on top of that, I've seen my strength gains for pretty much all my lifts skyrocket. Now, at this point, 18 months in, I think I was pretty clear after the first year that I was pretty much experimenting with a lot of the exercises on the ISO chain, a lot of the modalities, excuse me. So like the first exercise uh, program that I did was a sweet 16, um, the uh, one by sixes for 16 exercises, hence the name. And then I was like, okay, so that worked pretty good. I think I went up like 60 something percent. And if we talk about record highs, I think I was up like almost 80 something percent. I think it was 81, I, I don't know, it's, it's been, a, been a little bit. You can check that video here. After that, okay, I knew that my body responded well to the one by six. It's pretty much like what Bruce Lee did. So I was like, okay, let's just try some three by sixes and um, just experiment, see what, what worked for my body and what worked and what didn't. So I, I essentially did like six week programming, just like I do with, with weightlifting. It's like six, six weeks, eight weeks at most on the same program before um, accommodation starts to roll and we need to switch it up. So I did that for, I think about six or seven routines. I think it's six throughout the first year since I had the ISO chain. So October of 2020 to October of 2021. And then I started to mix it up. I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't mix it up. That's when I started to hone in. And I knew that out of all the exercises and all the programs that I did, that the one by six was pretty much what worked really well for me, at least for my body type. And for what else I got going on, you know, I'm, I'm trying to factor in all the other lifting that I'm doing at the gym and everything. 
So, with that being said, the answer is, yeah, I'm still getting, I'm still using it. I'm still benefiting from it. In fact, a lot of the squad might be wondering, what is Chris doing? You know, I've been kind of quiet on what I'm doing. Um, so I can, I'm gonna provide updates, at least on the numbers and everything. I need to do more of that. So that is on me. I apologize for that. Uh, I just figured that, I don't know, I kind of thought that you guys might think it's boring, but then again, I was like, because it's the, it's the same program. It's the upper and lower split that I'm doing, one by six, and, and like I'm literally just changing the chain links up for some of them. Um, have the numbers been going up as much as they were in the beginning? No, but are they still going up? Yeah. So, for example, like when I get a new client on the ISO chain, they usually are going up by like 20% in that first month. Um, I do have a new client that's uh, up 40% in their first month. I'm so hyped to share that story. So there's so much to cover, guys. I, I really... <laughs> So much content, not enough time to cover it. But yeah, it's like as far as my program, it's it's one by six. It's eight upper body exercises and eight lower body exercises. Um, I'm doing the abdominal crunch every day. Recently, though, I had to scale back on that because I pulled my back. What a freaking surprise, right? Doing the dumbest thing. It wasn't lifting. It wasn't doing 400 pound deadlifts. It was sleeping wrong. It's always the stupidest things. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can anybody relate? Like, dang, you sneeze and you throw your body out of whack. It's just, oh my goodness. Can I go back to 22 now, please? Please. Anyway, <laughs> you can tell this is more of a personal <laughs> from me to you video. But, uh, yeah, I... Definitely am not going to stop using the ISO chain. I believe I said this a couple months in. I have seen the value. And honestly, it would be foolish for me to stop. I mean, the, the bulletproofing to my knees alone has been absolutely fantastic. Um, it has kept a lot of my tendonitis that I usually suffer at least through a spell per program. That has been minimized. Not reduced to zero, but it has been minimized. I've still had some like flare-ups with tendonitis, but I'm telling you, it's been minimized. I know how they flare up. I know usually what exercises trigger them. And while I do still get them, the number of times that I get them are drastically reduced. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to um, really ripping into these overcoming isometric uh, training sessions. They are just a game changer. And I really like that it, you know, you can just do a one by six and just knock it out. So, I'm still doing it. In fact, I have a day 15 coming up. I think it's like the, this coming Thursday has been 15 days into this, uh, this program. It's the same program as when I started doing it in the beginning uh, for this year, the one by six. Like I said, the only thing that's changed is just a couple of chain links. So it's still this, literally the same exercises. Um, I swapped like one or two. So like for example, instead of the standing shoulder press, I did the seated shoulder press. So I can go over um, why and everything in, in that video. But the short answer to that, it's not saving you a video. I can still go over it in the, in the video. Is um, so that the body doesn't get used to the same type of exercise the same exact way each time. So that's why I did that. So. Um, I guess a uh, very long-winded answer to a very simple question, am I still doing ISO chain 18 months later? And the answer is absolutely yes, I'm not stopping. I've seen way too much at this point. My clients have seen way too much. Just, y'all know I'm a facts dude. So I really don't care about, you know, all that feelings and emotions and stuff. I wanna see the numbers change on the board, all right? <laughs> so uh, what do you guys think? What, um, what would you guys like to see from a more personal vlog standpoint? Because I, I, I like doing this. Um, I feel like I've been a little bit too much on the instructional side and not too much on the personal side. So uh, I know I need to drop more vlogs because in the beginning I did say this is a ISO chain and fitness vlogging channel. So I should be vlogging more, right? <laughs> so um, essentially we are pioneering the product still. That is what it is. All right, guys. Um, Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like. I mean, it helps the algorithm out so people can realize that this product exists. <laughs> um, so just to have more people see it, um, go ahead and comment, it helps the algorithm out. 
Um, if you're not yet part of the squad and you like the content, hit that subscribe button, come join the squad with us. I also have a Patreon if you want to support your boy. Really appreciate it. Um, at a dollar a month, every penny counts. I really appreciate that as well. You know, it doesn't go unappreciated. All right, guys, and I'll see you next video. Peace.